Okay, so the printer has gone through its calibration process, which was very, very fast. And you can see here on the app, it's telling me it's successfully calibrated. So um, I want to tell you about one of the first things that I've noticed that is a major difference here um, in the new MakerBot Replicator Plus from the fifth generation replicator. Uh, as it calibrated the build plate, basically, you know, leveled it or calibrated it. First of all, it was super fast. It was a lot faster than it ever was on the old system. Plus, it was completely automatic. On the MakerBot 5th generation 3D printer, there are two knobs, one at the front and one at the side on the underside of the build plate that it would you know, detect how far it was from the build plate and then it would tell you on this LCD screen, hey, turn that knob clockwise or counterclockwise slowly until it then it tells you to stop. And then it would, you know, take some readings from another part of the build plate and then say, hey, take the right knob and turn it clockwise or counterclockwise until it tells you to stop. And it would go through that a series of times. You'd go through the whole cycle twice and fine tune and get into there and there's none of that. There are not even any knobs underneath the uh, build plate on this Replicator Plus build plate. So, um, very impressive, a lot faster. The other thing I noticed as the build plate was rising and lowering, it moves a whole lot faster and it seems to be quieter than its predecessor. So now it's telling me success start filament loading. So I'm pushing to load filament, load spool into tray. Uh, I already did that. So now it's gonna heat up the smart extruder plus again and all I've done is put the filament just down into the very top of the smart extruder plus and really at this point I can just wait it's going to heat up to 215 degrees Celsius it's giving me again that reading right here or on the app I don't know that I really would use the app all the time to control the printer when I'm right here in front of it I mean the LCD screen and their click wheel and button interface is good enough. I don't know that I would pull out my um, phone to really do it, but giving it a try anyway as a, you know, testing out the recommended procedure for going forward and setting it up. 